Hello and welcome to ESPN Crick Info Dailies. I'm Alexis Nunez. Delhi faced their second loss in a row on Thursday night as Hyderabad beat them by five wickets to climb to the top of the table. On a slow, tricky pitch at the Feroz Shakotla, it was Johnny Bairstow's innings of 48 off 28 balls that was the defining factor between the two sides. Bairstow outbatted everyone in the game where even his partner David Warner could not hit a single boundary. Delhi's Tevatia and Akshar Patel bowled tightly to push Hyderabad towards an improbable defeat, but a quick-fire innings from Mohamed Nabi in the end sealed the win comfortably. Former Sri Lanka all-rounder Dilhara Lokuhetegi has been slapped with three fresh corruption charges, these by the ICC's own anti-corruption unit, five months after the Emirates Cricket Board has also charged him. The 38-year-old was previously suspended by the ICC in November when the ECB laid its charges. He is one of three Sri Lanka players to be charged under the anti-corruption code, alongside former fast bowler Nuan Zoisa and former all-rounder Sanath Jayasuriya. New Zealand all-rounder Jimmy Neesham came to the brink of retiring 18 months ago amid a battle with form and injury that had seen him fall out of love with cricket. Nisham states that he owes a lot to Heath Mills to convince him not to retire and instead take a break for three to four weeks. He describes his journey from wanting to retire to returning with Wellington and then making the World Cup squad as a pretty surreal ride. Nisham narrowly missed the cut for the Home World Cup back in 2015, an experience that he described as gut-wrenching when Grant Elliott was preferred at the last minute. The 28-year-old was named in New Zealand's World Cup squad that was announced earlier this week. Hashim Amla will return to cricket with the Cape Cobras during Cricket South Africa's upcoming T20 Challenge, according to coach Ashwell Prince. Prince also revealed that CSA were hoping Amla would be able to take up a short county stint in England to acclimatize ahead of the World Cup. But Amla wanted to stay in South Africa to be closer to his ailing father. Amla last played for South Africa in the two tests against Sri Lanka in February and was granted compassionate leave from the one-day squad to be with his critically ill father. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave your comments in the comment section below. Click on the bell icon for notifications.